Hello everyone, we are back again with another video. In our last video, we have discussed about unincorporated entities, liaison office, branch office and project office in India. In this video, we would discuss about incorporated entities, private limited companies, public limited companies, limited liability partnerships, joint ventures. If you are new to our channel, please like and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get updates about our new videos. Let's get started. First, wholly owned subsidiary company. This is most popular form of entity in India. Suitable for companies which want to do full-scale business activities in India with intention to stay in India for a long period of time. Also, suitable for companies which want to use their global brands in India. Activities allowed. First, WOS can do any business activities which are prescribed under its Memorandum of Association subject to FDI guidelines. Second, Indian WOS can be set up subject to FDI guidelines. Foreign companies can invest in majority of business sectors in India under automatic route. Only for investment in some sectors and for investment in excess of specified limit, prior approval of government is required which is called as government route. Third, there are some prohibited lists of business in FDI guidelines. It means WOS cannot be engaged in prohibited business activities. Therefore, this is an important aspect to be kept in mind before setting up of a wholly owned subsidiary in India. Conditions required for setting up WOS First, WOS can be registered in India either as public limited company or private limited company. Second, for WOS's private limited companies, minimum two directors and two shareholders required. At least one director shall be Indian citizen and Indian resident. Third, for WOS's public limited companies, minimum three directors and minimum seven shareholders are required out of which at least one director shall be Indian citizen and Indian resident. Shareholders can be companies also, including foreign company, however directors has to be individuals. Companies can hold shares in Indian WOS through authorized representatives. 100% shares in Indian subsidiary company can be held by foreign parent company. Legal status of WOS It is independent of its parent entity. It has limited liability that is liability is limited to amount of capital invested in company and has separate legal existence. Approvals required For setting up WOS in India Prior approval of registrars of companies, Ministry of Corporate is required. Also, approval of RBI, AD Banker and Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal may be required in case of government approval route. Further, if the activities of the Indian wholly owned subsidiary fall under government approval route, then the approval from the government has to be obtained. Government approval can be taken by filing online application with Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal, FIFP. Besides above, WOS need to comply with all the laws, rules and regulations as applicable, including but not limited to Companies Act, 2013, Foreign Exchange Management Act, 1999, Shops and Establishment Act, Income Tax Act etc., failing which may result in heavy interest and, or penal implications. Accordingly, cost of running and maintaining expenses of WOS is high and require expert professional guidance all the time. Tax applicability WOS being company is liable to tax on global income at different tax rates like 15%, 22%, 25% and 30% depending upon case to case. Also, subject to matted 15% of book profits. Repatriation of Profits For repatriation of profits out of India, there are no restrictions. No approvals required. Only procedural compliance to be done. Exit from India. It is a complex procedure. Also, time consuming. Depend upon exit strategy adopted. Exit can be either by sale of shares or by liquidation. We come to end to this video, where we have discussed about wholly owned subsidiary company. In next video, we would be discussing about limited liability partnership, LLP. In case you like our video, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting latest notification. If you have any query or need clarification, please write in comment section. Also, share the video till next time, happy learning.